quite a large move here. Okay, so there's 400 and some odd pips to go to the downside. There's no reason to get caught in, caught up in thinking that you missed out on all of this. No different than had you missed out on this big move here, the market gave you plenty of time and opportunity uh, to get in as the market started to break to the downside. No different than when the market broke here, pushed up, gave you an opportunity there. Pushed up again, gave you another opportunity, gave you a third opportunity right there before finally making a big fast push to the upside. So remember, target to the downside, 98.69. Uh, this uh, currency's got a ton of resistance to move through uh, on the, the uh, sideways action that it just got done pushing through. Uh, so even if it does manage to get to the upside, it's going to have to chew through quite a bit before it does break back to the upside. Uh, also keep in mind that uh, we're looking at the market trading inside of this channel. Let's go ahead and slap this on quickly. So it's going to be a little rough as far as the angles go. But illustrate the point, even if we were to come all the way back down uh, in, into here, which uh, is about 288, the market would still be in this bullish uptrend. Okay, so we've got to keep that in mind as well. We might be stopping at about 2 bucks on this downtrend, which uh, would put the market, let's go ahead and just run this straight across, right in this area here for support. So we have prior high over here. We've got some sideways action over here, all at this $2 level that can provide some support. We might get a push through on enthusiasm, orders getting triggered, psychological level of 2 bucks, offering uh, a place for people to put their stops. Yes, uh, bank traders will put their stops around round numbers for whatever reason. They still do it. Uh, even some... Uh, institutional traders will do it, put their stops around round numbers. So uh, that will be a factor as we start moving down. So 9,800 roughly would be my target on a move to the downside, understanding, though, that we've got to break through this uh, important $2 barrier first. So keep your, keep your, keep your powder dry. Uh, this is a good thing that the market is showing us its hand, giving us the indication for some momentum. Keep your eye out for the market to pop back up and then get, give us uh, the additional move back to the downside.